Hello dear friends, I am Amit Belikar from Tips and Tricks by AMB welcomes you to my channel. Let's have a look what we are going to deal in this presentation. Isn't it interesting to see how this machine works? Yes. But before moving further, if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon to get notifications of all my new videos. In previous session, we had discussed the first step of manufacturing of tablets, that is preparation of granules. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about second step of manufacturing of tablets that is compression of granules. We are discussing compression of granules in various parts. In this presentation, we are discussing first part that is single punch tablet machine and multi punch tablet machines. After going through this presentation, the learner will be able to perform compression of granules, operate single punch and multi punch tablet machines and differentiate single punch and multi punch tablet machine. In previous some presentations, we discussed that manufacturing process of compressed tablet involves various steps as preparation of granules ready for compression, compression of granules into the tablets, coating of tablets and final step is the evaluation of the tablets. In this presentation, we are going to discuss second step that is compression of granules into the tablets. So let's discuss about compression of the granules. After preparation of dried granules ready for compression, dried granules are compressed into tablets in a machine called as tablet making machine. A tablet making machine should have a die and a set of upper and lower punch. The required quantity of granules can be filled in the die and the granules in the die are then compressed between the lower punch and upper punch. Various types of tablet making machines used for compression are single punch tablet machine, multi punch tablet machine, rotary tablet machine and dry quota tablet machine. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about single punch tablet machine and multi punch tablet machine. Let's discuss single punch tablet machine first. Single punch tablet machine can be hand operated or electrically operated. It is used for small scale manufacturing of the tablets. Let's discuss construction of single punch tablet machine. A single punch tablet machine has different parts as first a die granules can be filled in the die through hopper and these granules are compressed in the die in between lower punch and the upper punch. Next part is lower punch and upper punch. These punches come together in the die to compress granules in the die. Next part is ejection regulator. It is a set of nut and screw to adjust the position of lower punch so that at its highest position its upper surface should coincide with the upper surface of the die. It will assure the easy removal of the tablet with movement of hopper shoe. Next part is capacity regulator. It is another screw on the same nut on which screw for ejection regulator is present. It is used to adjust the position of the lower punch in the die when it is at the lowest position. This position decides the quantity of granules accommodated in the die. Thus it decides the weight of the tablet. Next part is compression regulator. It is a set of threaded plunger and screw present above the upper punch. The plunger is raised up 
or lower down by screwing it. It will adjust compression produced by upper punch in the die. It also has a lock nut to fit the compression. Next part is a hopper and hopper shoe. Granules are filled in the hopper and through hopper shoe granules are supplied to the die. Hopper shoe also removes the tablet after its compression. Next part is driving wheel. It helps in the sequential movement of hopper shoe, upper punch and lower punch. It can be hand operated or electrically operated. Now let's discuss how single punch tablet machine works. Before operating the machine for compression of granules, some adjustments should be done in the single punch tablet machine as per the requirements as follows. The machine is adjusted for capacity adjustment by using capacity regulator to achieve uniform weight of the tablet. Then it is adjusted for ejection of tablet by using ejection regulator so that ejected tablet should reach at the upper surface of the die for easy removal. Then it is also adjusted for compression by using plunger and screw setting on upper punch to adjust the hardness and thickness of the tablets. After these adjustments, Screws are locked in the position by locking pin. The setting of machine should be checked at regular intervals during operating the machine. As driving wheel moves, several movements takes place in a sequence in one cycle of single punch tablet machine as follows. First is die filling. Lower end of the die is closed due to the lower punch. Due to movement of driving wheel, upper punch moves up and then hopper shoe moves over the die. Granules flows from hopper shoe to the die to fill the die. This step is called as die filling. The movement of hopper shoe helps in the flow of granules. Next step is fill weight adjustment. At the same time, lower punch moves down in the dies as per adjustment by capacity regulator. This will allow the desired weight of granules fill into the die. Next step is tablet compaction or compression. Then hopper shoe moves aside and upper punch moves down in the die compressing the granules into a tablet. Lower punch may be stationary or moving up at this stage. Mostly it is stationary. Next step is tablet ejection. Then upper and lower punches moves up. Lower punch rises up to the surface of the dies to eject the tablet. And upper punch rises upward to allow movement of the hopper shoe. The hopper shoe again moves forward over the dies pushing the newly formed tablet aside. Then lower punch drops and cycle is repeated. Okay, so this is the working of single punch tablet machine. Now let's discuss about multi punch tablet machine. It has 2 to 12 dies on a big platform. It also has same number of upper and lower punches as per the number of dies present on the platform. Hopper shoe is somewhat big which will able to fill the granules in all the dies present on the platform. Except these changes, multi-punch tablet machine is similar in construction and working as that of single punch tablet machine. In this machine, in one stroke or one cycle, number of tablets formed as many number of dies present in the machine. Now it's time to summarize today's session. We discussed that compression of granules into tablets is the second step of manufacturing of tablets. 
we discussed that compression of granules can be achieved by four types of machines like single punch tablet machine, multi punch tablet machine, rotary tablet machine and dry coater tablet machines. Out of these machines we discussed today about construction and working of single punch and multi punch tablet machines. Die, upper punch, lower punch, capacity regulator, ejection regulator, compression regulator, hopper, hopper shoe and driving wheel are the main parts of these machines. Die filling, fill weight adjustment, compaction of granules and tablet ejection are the steps involved in each cycle of the machine. We discussed working and construction of multi-punch machine is similar to single punch machine but it is vary in number of sets of dies and punches. Thank you for listening me patiently. If you like this presentation, please click on subscribe button and bell icon to get notifications of all further videos. Like it and share it to your dear ones. Drop your queries in comments or on my mail address which is given in the video. Thank you once again.